Hey guys, I am back with another craft fair idea video. And this one, this one is actually um, less of an idea because this project has been around forever and more of um, a way of showing you what I did and how I made these much more quickly and efficiently than I have in years past. So the project I am sharing today are these Hershey Nuggets packs. Um, as I said before, this is not a new thing. You can find lots and lots of videos out there of people who have done them, how they've done them. Um, I know lots of Stampin' Up! demonstrators have done videos on this. I know Lyric Lover um, has done a project on this. But I really did want to share um, how I put mine together because, as I said, I feel like I was much more efficient this year. And... It happened on accident because I went to a three day long craft uh, retreat and I brought everything I needed to put these together except for the candy. So don't know how I managed to do that, but I did. So I decided that even though I didn't have the candy, I was gonna do everything I could to get prepped and ready to assemble, assemble these once I got home from my retreat and I gotta say this way worked so much better for me. So I will tell you the very first thing I did was I decided on the color I wanted to use for my base or like the box that the nuggets are gonna sit in and I wanted to decide the color of the topper. I went round and round on this and I probably spent w probably too long figuring out what I wanted to do for my colors. Um, I had done craft, I tested out craft and red, I had tested out white and red, and finally I decided on doing red and red. And I felt like it was the most complimentary color to the paper I had picked to wrap the nuggets. So once you have your color scheme picked out, um, what I did and what I will do from now on is I cut as many as I could of everything I knew I would need. So I, I ended up cutting about a hundred of my toppers, a hundred of my boxes, probably 200 of my tags because it was a, a punch that I was borrowing while I was at this retreat. So I wanted to do as many as I could while I was there. So I ha will have a bunch to either save for next year or I will continue to make some for this year. Um, my craft fair that I am doing that is a week long uh, is in about two and a half weeks. So I, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna make more of these or not, but anyways, so decide on how many you want and get them all cut and scored. So the base of my box is six and a half by two and one eighth. My topper, is three by two and one eighth. And on the topper, you're gonna wanna score it right in the middle. So at one and a half, and get these all scored and ready to go. Then you're gonna wanna score your box. And I actually put marks on here because it would be easier for me to find it and just, you know, do it like a conveyor belt. So you actually score at three eighths of an inch on each side, or if you don't want to rotate your paper and do three eighths in, it's uh, three eighths and one and three quarters. So I literally cut and scored all 100 of these. Then um, I, like I said, I had my tag that I knew I wanted to put on my bag topper. And I actually um, took a stamp that was there, which is why you'll see that all of these are stamped with a snowflake, but not with a sentiment because I was borrowing this snowflake while I was there. And I just used some sentiments that I had in my stash. So like I have ho, ho, ho. Holly Jolly, Jingle All the Way, Season's Greetings. I think those are the four ones I did. So once I had my box scored and my bag topper scored and my sentiment on there, all I would do is glue down my tag, <clears throat> get my white clear bag that I actually got off of Amazon 
Um, these bags are, let's see, they're right about two inches wide. And they're about, I take this, I don't think that's all the way up. Oh, no, it is. About 11 and a quarter inches long. So while I was at this retreat, all I did was take my topper, take my tag, take my bag, and uh, glued down the tag, stapled the topper with my um, tiny attacher, and then left it open at the bottom with the, with the seal. So then when I got home, all I had to do was wrap the candy. So I found a much easier way to wrap the candy as well. And it looks like I forgot. Uh, I didn't bring down my scotch tape. So I will just share what I did. Um, so I decided that I wanted each pack to have six pieces of candy. And I would take a piece of scotch tape and put it on each end. And then you line up Ooh. your wrapper right there with the edge of your candy and your scotch tape is gonna wrap around here. So once your scotch tape is adhered to the candy, then you just wrap it, wrap it, and then your scotch tape will come down on the other side. And that, by using the scotch tape, you're able to wrap these in, I mean like a second, compared to gluing and waiting for the glue to dry and then you're sitting there holding it down. Yeah, scotch tape, much faster. And then once you have them all wrapped, I just put them in my box and you'll see that you have a little extra room there. And I would just slide them in the bag from the bottom and then close them up. So currently I have about 40 packs done. Um, I used two of these large uh, bags. They're 31 and a half ounces. And then I used one smaller bag. Um, I don't remember how, how big that one was, but it was probably a quarter of the size of this. And I think I only got like, I don't know, maybe three packs out of that bag. But what I figured out is using this bag, uh, using, so like I said, I used two of these, but each bag I was able to get, um, 14 or is either 14 or 15 packs of these so if I divided what I spent so I spent right around $13 and like 60 cents per bag so I did the math and that means I spent 88 cents worth of candy per pack so I feel like that's actually pretty cheap although there is a lot of time in this in terms of um, putting it all together, but I felt like if I did this assembly line way, then it went so much faster for me. So I am going to be selling these for probably $3 or $3.50. I haven't decided yet. Um, I know that some of you probably won't agree with that pricing, but um, in years past, I've done $3 or two for five. But with the prices of everything going up, my booth fee went up at, at the festival. Um, again, they're going to take a percentage of my sales. So I'm probably going to go with $350 and see how they do. My guess is they'll be fine. Um, what I found doing these craft fairs is like these cute little gifts that are less than $5 sell really well. Um, yeah, and that is it for my video today. I should be back tomorrow or Saturday with another craft fair idea video. Um, I've been working on a lot of different projects. Um, I've just been trying to figure out the packaging. I can give you a little sneak peek. This is one of the ones I will be sharing and it's um, Rudolph Spares, but I haven't figured out the packaging that I like yet. So as soon as I do that, I will be back and sharing it with you, sharing the price points, all of that. Um, until then, thanks for watching.